Hey, what's up everyone? This is Snicked, and welcome to episode 6 of the Dungeon Master Let's Play series for Royal Revolt 2 for the new update that rolled out today, September 15th. We're down about midway through the dungeon right now, and we've reached the Grotesque Grotto number 3. So this is where we'll get the Gargoyle number 3, and i um, actually ready to go into go into the raid itself, so we'll just dip right in. And uh, this is a pretty... Kind of cool. Um, I don't think you can actually create this design in the uh, top side in the overworld. I don't think we're able to do quite do this, although I've never seen anybody do it. But anyway, uh, we're looking at some paladins, and then um, because we've opened up all the monsters now, we're seeing uh, we're seeing dungeon levels with multi-monster wave compositions. So we'll have the gargoyles, of course, since they're the uh, the guest of honor here in the grotesque grotto, and then the mummy and uh, a level 2 mummy, and then this is the level 3 ogre. Uh, but notably, no towers. Uh, we just have two blockades and then one set of spikes. Um, don't really care about the gargoyles a whole lot, and for the mummies, we're actually going to bring... Um, what are we going to bring? We're going to bring... We're going to bring pyromancers, and then we'll just bring some R-blasters for the... Ogres, since that's what they're most susceptible to. So 428 health to do the Grotesque Grotto number 3. 428 health. 428 food. Alright, so I'm going to just spawn one of each of those. And these guys just love to come and punk me and do absolutely nothing. Um, Alright, so huge waves of paladins. Lots of gargoyles coming. Paladins did more damage. Alright, so here we go. Spawn a few more of these. The mummy is susceptible to fire damage. 50% fire damage is the mummy's chief weakness. Here's the the ogre, and the ogre is highly susceptible to piercing damage. One thing I am noticing is that the uh, and this is true with skull towers as well. So. Um, these high-level blunt damage, you know, features or factors in the game, adversaries, make a big deal and a much bigger deal to the raiding party than to the hero himself. So with gargoyles, I'm not so worried about um, encountering or being hit by the gargoyles myself, but these gargoyles flying around are actually causing, can cause a lot of trouble to, uh, to your raiding party. Um, especially to like a huge group of R blasters, you know, if you've spawned a bunch of troops and they're all clustered together in one place, that gargoyle gets over to them and drops its bomb on them before it's killed, then um, it can actually, you know, with 2,870 hit points for like a huge group of pyromancers, see right there, that was a perfect example, if you saw that over on the right side, how uh, that gargoyle, um, that bomb took 40% of that pyromancer's health away. Now, it wasn't that big of a deal because it was one, but what if you had, you know, had spawned 10, 15, 20 different pyromancers, you know, and you're working your way through, everything's going really well, and then two gargoyles appear out of nowhere and just come in and cut your, you know, cut your huge raiding party to shreds, you know, and those, those, uh, our blasters, not our blasters, pyromancers have 2,870 hit points, so if that attack is taking away 40% of their health, Presumably, two gargoyles, and they seem to like to work in pairs, or maybe maybe even more than that as we get further into the dungeons here. But two of those presumably would take away double or eighty percent. So you'd be looking at what is that about twenty two hundred or twenty three hundred hit points from a pyromancer. Um, so it just about kills a pyromancer with two of those going off. And if they get into a huge cluster. Um, of your raiding party that's all kind of gathered together and is working through the base as one, that could really be just almost like standing under or in front of a high-level skull tower and letting it barrage you with bombs. So anyway, that's the Grotesque Grotto number three, just a little bit about um, maybe the use of the Gargoyle. The Gargoyle isn't all that tough, as we've gone over before. It's actually pretty weak, but the blunt damage that it deals out is is significant, and they're incredibly fast as well. So let's go back up here, as we've been doing in these videos, and we'll take a look in the Troop Academy 
at the stats for the gargoyle and see what's changed. All right. Whoop. Uh, well. So the gargoyle uh, started out at 600 blunt damage. Uh, that was at level 1. It is now at 1,262. Started out at 700 hit points and is now at 1,480. So in these two levels, the gargoyle's um, offensive and defensive strength have more than doubled um, as we've gone up through these two levels. So the gargoyle now sports <coughs> well above the amount of blunt damage that either the ogre or the paladin generate. Um, three ti four times, rather, almost four times the amount that the cannon generates. And then um, at 1,262 blunt, 1,480 health, he does now have more health than the Froster. He has more health than, I know he has more health than a max, or approximately the same health as a max level archer. More health than a knight, significantly more health. Um, and just a little bit under an Arblaster at 1720. So the Gargoyle is actually coming along and becoming a little bit more formidable than we I thought it would be in the past. Now, looking at that Blunt, 1262 Blunt, go down here, let's see... Here's our level 9 Skull Tower. So you can see here 6,221 damage um, that's dealt out by the Skull Tower. So the uh, the Gargoyle still doesn't really hold a candle to what a, a level 9 Skull Tower is capable of doing. Not not even close. You know, it's, it's maybe 20% of what it can deal out. But when you think about what a level 9 Skull Tower can do to a raiding party, if that raiding party is just standing there in front of it and, and doesn't really have isn't really able to bring a sufficient amount of ice damage or um, really just ice damage or blunt damage to bear on the Skull Tower to take it out in really short order, that can completely just annihilate your raiding party. Um, and so, uh, again, according to that principle, the Gargoyle is, um, is, far, is far weaker at this point anyway, but, um, you know, becoming a little bit more formidable because it's, it is stronger now. And, um, and at 1,262 blunt damage, it's a very significant amount of damage that it's able to cause, especially, again, to your raiding party. So that's something you'll want to watch out for on the defensive side as you're going into raids, but also something you might want to consider on the offensive side um, as well, because if the gargoyles, um, and we haven't even seen the highest, that the, gar um, the highest damage or health that the gargoyle will have, because I think we have to upgrade it one more level to level 4. So once we see that... Um, you know, the, the Gargoyle may have some interesting uses and may actually work into uh, a, your wave composition. It might not be kind of the afterthought or the, um, you know, or kind of the, the useless uh, troop unit that I was uh, I was playing it off as in, in an earlier video. So um, very interested to see how that evolves. But anyway, that's it for the Grotesque Grotto number three and the Gargoyle level three. Do you have any thoughts on the Gargoyle, how it will work tactically if you're going to be using it in your waves? Um, you're going to be replacing maybe an Arblaster or um, a Pyromancer or cannons or anything like that, um, and you think that the, the Gargoyle is better suited for um, the role of dealing out blunt damage or what have you, definitely let me know. Uh, drop me a comment here on YouTube or hit me up out on Facebook. Thanks, guys.